You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW drum brake kit used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever. And open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the rear wheel studs. To change the rear drum brakes on your vehicle, you will have to remove the wheels to gain full access. Lift the rear of your vehicle. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. You can now see the drum brakes on your car. Loosen the two drums retaining screws on the rear hub using a T30 torque socket. Then release the handbrake, or else you won't be able to proceed. On this vehicle, you can use the screw thread on the drum to screw an 8mm diameter screw into this location, which will result in pushing the drum outwards, making it easier to remove. You can now access the brake mechanism. Now, you have to remove the mounting system of the shoes. Using pliers, Unclip the clips holding the brake shoes, sliding them downwards. Then remove the rods. Using a flathead screwdriver, pry the brake shoes out of the lower housings. Disengage the lower springs from the brake shoes. Next, using a flathead screwdriver, pry on the upper spring to separate the brake shoes from the wheel cylinder. You can now remove the front brake shoe. Take the automatic handbrake adjuster. Remove the handbrake cable from its latch to remove the rear brake shoe. You now need to clean the inner side with a wire brush and brake cleaner in order to remove the brake dust left over from natural wear of the brake shoes. Remember to protect the floor by placing a fluid collection tray. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, How to Make a Collector for Liquids. When replacing the rear drum brakes, it is best to replace the wheel cylinder, which is a vital part of the system. Tip. You can limit the brake fluid leak during this operation by gently pinching the brake hose with the brake hose pliers. As these components are very often seized, don't hesitate to use penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. Use an 11mm flare nut spanner to loosen the brake fluid inlet pipe by a few threads. Take a socket wrench and a 10mm socket to remove the wheel cylinder mounting screw. Finish unscrewing the brake fluid inlet. You can now remove the wheel cylinder. Brush the contact surface between the cylinder and the plate. Then clean with brake cleaner. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take the new cylinder supplied with the drum brake kit. Remove the caps. You can now put it on. Put the brake hose in place and roughly screw it back on.
then tighten the support ball completely to make it easier to tighten the brake hose. Finish tightening the brake hose. Before installing the new brake shoes, clean the plate again. Once cleaned and dried, lubricate the brake shoe bearing surfaces. Remove the brake hose pliers. Take the rear brake shoe. Start by reinserting the handbrake cable back into its latch, then position the brake shoe. Take the brake shoe holding system with the rods and clips supplied in the kit. Insert the rod. Install the rear brake shoe retaining clip using a flathead screwdriver. You can replace the automatic handbrake adjustment system if necessary. Next, reposition the automatic handbrake adjuster. Take the various springs. Preposition the lower spring on the rear brake shoe. Take the front brake shoe and install the lower spring on it. Then position the brake shoe in its lower slot. Next, position the brake shoe on the cylinder and at the same time install the automatic handbrake adjuster. Then position the automatic adjustment lever in its slot. Install the front brake shoe retaining clip. Position the upper spring using a small screwdriver. Install the automatic adjustment lever spring on the front brake shoe using needle nose pliers. Clean the hub with a wire brush. You can also replace the drum with a new one if you wish. However, you need to change the drums on both sides in order to ensure balanced braking. Clean the drum with a brake cleaner and paper towels. You can now close the work area by putting the drum back on. Install the two retaining screws. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. After changing your brake cylinders, you need to bleed the brake fluid to remove any bubbles that have seeped into the system. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Bleeding the Fiesta 7 Brake Fluid System. Once the bleeding is done, you must pump several times to activate the automatic adjustment of the drum brakes. Under no circumstances should you use a screwdriver to adjust the drum brake, as it works by itself once it has been purged. You may hear adjustment clicking noises when pumping the brake pedal. Finish tightening the drum retaining screws. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put your car back on the ground and block the wheels securely. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Operation completed. 
Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.